Welcome back. Today we're going to be working with the foam roller primarily for the purpose of opening and lengthening and stretching the shoulders and the chest, but we'll do a little bit of core work on here as well and then a little bit of a, a lumbar um, extension exercise. You can use a full foam roller if you have one at home. What we found is for the purpose of the general population and for class that the half roller works just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and mount the foam roller, tailbone at the end, entire spine supported, head at the opposite end. So we'll start that way, right down onto your back, being really cautious not to injure your tailbone or put too much pressure on the tail. So we'll start on your back, making sure the whole head is supported and the whole tail is supported. And we'll start with just some gentle stretches. Moving one arm over your head, letting it float behind you and just noticing how far back you're able to bring the arm. Sometimes the shoulders are a little tighter on one side. So just repeat this one five or six times, observing the length and the range of motion that you have in your arms and shoulders. If you have any real shoulder concerns, you may take the arms just a little bit wider on this one and you may not be able to touch the floor as you bring your arms over your head. You could spend up to a minute or so on that one. Then lace your fingers together and turn your palms away from you. Now working together with both arms over your head. If you're able to tap the floor, great. And if not, don't worry. Notice if your body is moving at all and see if you can stabilize a bit with your core muscles. Use your breath. Inhale. And then exhale. And again, you can do about a minute or so of those. And then after that, once the shoulders have opened a little, you can tip the arms back as though you were holding two platters on your arms. And then work to get your elbow level with the wrist and the hand. So typically when you come into this position, you might notice the elbows a little higher or the hands a little higher. Just take a moment and sink into the pose and do the best you can to level off the arms. Breathe a few times and then exhale and just try to sink the arms down just a little bit as though the platters you were holding were getting heavier. And then slowly stretch your arms over your head to create a nice stretch. And then you can repeat that one six to eight times. And each time, just imagine that the platters start getting heavier. You may, over time, be able to eventually just lay the arms down on the floor and breathe. Don't push it and don't rush to get your arms to this open position. Just allow gravity and the weight of your arms and the imaginary platters to help you. And then we'll reach the arms straight up. And you can do these in any order that you can remember. So reach the arms as though you were reaching to grab something high up on a shelf. And then sink the shoulder blades, allowing your own shoulder blades to wrap down around the foam roller. Inhale, raise up. And then exhale to sink. And again, you can repeat that one for half a minute or so. And just really just open the shoulders and widen the chest. And then let your arms float down to the floor and let them rest. And you can begin a bit of a core challenge here. Engaging the belly muscles will float one knee toward your chest. Floating that knee in, notice if your body moves. And you might feel some gentle, subtle movement side to side with your body. And your job is to engage the core muscles enough that your body stabilizes. Getting the deep muscles around the spine to help you balance. If you're not having a lot of trouble stabilizing with this one, you can take it to the next level and just bring the arms up and across your chest creating an X right over your chest. Be sure to relax your elbows and your shoulders. Engaging your belly muscles, float one knee in towards your chest, trying to stabilize on the foam roller. 
if you notice a lot of body movement, you feel your body shaking, you can go back to the first one and continue to practice that until you master it. If you're able to keep the arms at the chest, then do six to eight to ten of those. This is a nice one to do before you begin your Pilates mat work or even your yoga practice. Continuing to float the knees in using the abdominals to hold your body steady on the floor. And just breathe as you move, always connecting the breath to the movement. And when you're finished, bring your arms to your sides and instead of sitting up, just scoot your body to the side, take the foam roller away for a moment, lay it onto the floor, let your back rest onto the floor, becoming one with the mat, just noticing the space that you've created all around the spine. Relax the legs. And then just breathe a few moments here so that you can begin the next step. To bend your knees, then just roll over to your side to come to seated, just so that you don't disturb any of the alignment that you've begun to create. And then now we'll take your foam rollers sideways on your mat. So it'll be side to side. And to create just a little bit of extension in the back, we'll place the foam roller just at the mid-back, so it won't be all the way at the bottom and it won't be across the top of the rib cage. We're gonna work in this space that's sort of between the two. And you may have a blanket or a towel or a prop nearby just in case you need support on your head. Sometimes it's easier just to bring the foam roller to the spot as you lay down. And once you're down, you may need to adjust both the block and the foam roller. So you'll want to place that just across the back. It'll be easier for you with knees bent. If you need support, put the block under your head until you get into place, or even a towel. So slowly stretch the legs out long if you can. If you feel like you need a little bit more support and less feedback from the foam roller, then you can keep your knees bent. So breathe in and out a few times, creating a little bit more extension in your back. And with each exhale, just let the weight of your body sink into the foam roller. If you feel able to, you can take the block or the towel away and rest your head completely onto the floor. And each time you breathe in, you'll feel the foam roller just a little bit more in the space of your back. And if you have two or three minutes or so, you can rest there on the foam roller. In general, it'll be safer for you to bridge up. So put your hands on the foam roller, lift your hips, push the foam roller away so that you don't hurt your back and then melt your back down to the floor, one section at a time, and rest. And then as you come to seated, as always, roll over to your side, use your abdominal muscles to press up, and feel good. So thank you for joining us today. Please visit the channel often to see what kinds of things we've added, and if you have any special requests, feel free to email us.